The European Union has been tipped to use its chaotic COVID vaccine rollout program to increase and centralize power, with one critic warning, Brussels never wastes a crisis, the EU has been shamed over its vaccination program, which has been hit by red tape that has left the powerful bloc facing blistering attacks over the sluggish speed at which it is vaccinating its 450 million citizens. This has been triggered by a bitter war of words with vaccine maker AstraZeneca over supply and production issues, which has left the EU scrambling for ways to save any available vaccines. Last month, more than half of the remaining 27 EU member states suspended their use of the AstraZeneca jab citing concerns over a small number of patients experiencing blood clots. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has threatened the UK with a vaccine export ban, just three months after Britain finally completed its full departure from the bloc. Following Brexit, Prime Minister Boris Johnson insisted the UK would flourish outside the EU, using its newfound sovereignty to its full potential and this has proved the case, already administering a vaccine dose to around half of the 67 million population. Ben Harris Quinney, chairman of the Bo Group Think Tank, has launched a brutal attack against the EU's management of the pandemic and vaccine rollout, but warned Brussels could still use the crisis to increase and centralize power, resulting in less national sovereignty for some nations. Mr. Harris Quinney told Express.co.uk, the EU's handling of the coronavirus pandemic and the vaccine rollout has been among its most public failures, but historically the EU never wastes a crisis, it is these crises they tend to use to further increase and centralize power in Brussels. You can already see how Macron is lining himself up to take command of the EU, and I predict the solution presented will ultimately mean even less national sovereignty and even more EU powers. EU member states are bracing themselves for a new COVID wave as infections once again threaten to spiral out of control. On Wednesday evening, French President Emmanuel Macron finally caved to pressure and placed the country into a new four-week lockdown, with several strict curfews being put in place. 